In 1700, the land is pure and untouched. Swamps stretch to the horizon, filled with mangroves and winding rivers. The Tequesta people live here in harmony with nature. Their canoes gliding silently over the water. No buildings, no roads, only dense forest, scattered huts, and the sounds of birds and insects. By 1725, subtle signs of outside contact begin to appear. A Spanish sailing ship anchors offshore, and a primitive dock is built near a small Tequesta village. Smoke from cooking fires rises into the morning sky. But still, nature dominates. This is a land of green and water, still mostly unknown to the world. In 1750, the coastline begins to show change. A few wooden buildings rise, early signs of Spanish presence. Traders arrive by boat, exchanging tools and cloth for fish and furs. The native population is smaller now, their culture slowly fading into the growing foreign influence. The landscape is still wild, but no longer untouched. In 1775, a more defined outpost stands by the river with flags, guards, and cannons. Paths connect wooden houses and a central storage shed. Miami is still far from civilization, but it's no longer invisible. The world is beginning to notice this small, humid edge of the new world. By 1800, Miami's shoreline shows modest but clear growth. Small wooden structures form the beginnings of a settlement. Canoes now share the water with simple sailboats. A dirt path cuts through thick vegetation, connecting huts to a trading post. The native presence fades as colonial influence takes root. In 1825, a humble frontier town emerges. A dozen buildings stand, including a church and a pier. Roads are muddy tracks. Horse-drawn carts travel between cabins and makeshift markets. Steamships begin to appear offshore, linking Miami to the wider world. It's no longer just a jungle, it's a growing outpost. By 1850, Miami's transformation is visible. Brick and wood buildings replace early huts. The first real streets are laid out in a grid. A courthouse stands near the center. Palm trees still dominate the horizon, but civilization pushes inland. The American flag now flies high, and the railroad is rumored to be coming. In 1875, rail lines begin carving through the wilds, connecting Miami to northern cities. The town has street lamps, boardwalks, and a lively dock with steamers and fishing boats. People wear hats and waistcoats, walking past grocers and print shops. Miami is no longer isolated. It's a growing port of promise. By 1900, downtown Miami is born. Brick buildings rise, hotels and shops line the streets. The railroad is complete and tourists arrive in waves. Horse-drawn trolleys rattle through avenues. The jungle is retreating. Miami feels like the beginning of something big. A city fueled by sun, sea, and ambition. In 1925, the Roaring Twenties reshape Miami. Art Deco buildings pop up. Pumline Boulevard's buzz with cars. Jazz music echoes from open windows. Luxury hotels stand tall on the beach. Developers sell the Florida dream to Northerners. Miami is glitzy, booming, and full of motion.
In 1950, Miami is firmly modern. Suburbs expand westward. Highways cut through the city and airports connected to the world. Pastel motels line the coast. Tourists sunbathe while locals crowd into diners and movie theaters. The city now hums with post-war optimism and American flair. By 1975, Miami feels electric and gritty. Skyscrapers rise downtown, Cuban culture explodes in Little Havana, and disco fills the nightclubs. Murals, neon signs, and protests fill the streets. Crime rises, but so does cultural energy. It's a city of tension and transition. In 2000, Miami is global. High-rises tower over the bay. Luxury condos line the beach. Multilingual voices echo through diverse neighborhoods. Cruise ships dock daily and South Beach pulses with night. It's a digi large city, alive with tech, tourism, and transformation. In 2025, Miami is a city of contrasts, future and history intertwine. The skyline is higher than ever, with green-roofed skyscrapers and solar glass facades. Autonomous cars glide through smart streets, while boats powered by clean energy dock at hypermodern marinas. Yet the past is still present. Art Deco buildings are preserved like jewels, and Little Havana still beats with salsa rhythms. Bilingual voices fill the streets, and tech startups rise alongside old cigar shops. Climate resilience has reshaped the coast-raised parks, storm barriers, and floating neighborhoods guard against the rising sea. Miami, in 2025, is not just a city. It's a laboratory for survival and style, where cultures collide, innovate, and reinvent the future again and again.